Hi there guys, this is uh, McShug and uh, I'm just going to give you a quick opening of the two-tone collector's pack that's just come through. This is my first contribution to the VC, although I've been watching quite a lot of other people and my other half also contributes as well, Billy Ruffian. Uh, and as I say, I've got the new box set or collector's pack of the two-tone stuff that's just been released this week. And I thought I'd show you this uh, along with a few of my originals. So uh, without further ado, uh, here we go. This is uh, how it arrived in a nice soft plush folder. Let's go a bit. There we go. And on the front, first in, we have a signed card by Jerry Dammer, he was the creator and starter of uh, Two Tone Label itself. Let's move that across a bit. There we go. Uh, as I say, Jerry was the founder of the specials and the Two Tone Record. I was very fortunate recently, uh, in amongst my photography I do, to uh, work with Jerry. And uh, whilst I was there, I also got him to sign one of my originals. So uh, I can add that to the collection also, which is rather nice. So we'll pop that to one side. Next in we have the uh, two-tone slip mat for seven inches. Looks rather nice. Soft felty. That can slide back in there. And then on to the special AKA Gangster versus the Selector, which was the first one that was released. Uh, the story goes that the original ones, the very original ones, had clear white sleeves and uh, the actual bands themselves stamped, hand stamped the, the names on top of the, the sleeve, each one being individual. There's been quite a lot of uh, reproductions of these floating around claiming to be all new and all the uh, original but uh, are far too clean and often the uh, the lettering isn't quite right. Uh, then we turn over and that was the uh, selectors on that side and the gangsters on that side. Then the Prince which is uh, the Madness track. Uh, Again, quite a few people don't realise Madness was signed to Two Tone, but uh, yep, it certainly were. And uh, I also have an original one of those. It's quite uh, interesting to see how white the new sleeves are compared to the older '80s ones. Uh, the actual sleeves themselves—I've just popped one out just to have a look at it. And they're actually quite a nice paper, whereas uh, a lot of the reproduction ones come in quite heavy card, so uh, look wrong and certainly feel wrong. On the next one we have on my radio, which is uh, the selector. Now these are all meant to be remastered and uh, original pressing from the original pressing, so. Uh, be interesting to pop one of these on and see how they sound against one of my original ones. And uh, again, whilst I was doing my photography and stuff, I uh, worked with Pauline and uh, Gaps on the, from the selector, and uh, was fortunate enough to get Pauline and Jugs and Gaps to uh, sign my sleeve as well on that one. So that's another one for my collection. Next, we go over. And we have Message to You, Rudy. Again, the specials. Uh, again, I have an original. The uh, new ones are all paper labels, which are quite nice, um, as opposed to the sort of later pressings that we often find, which are all these pressed in and then inked over. Not such such nice. 
and then onto the beat and my original the beat tears of a clown with the ranking full stop as it's reverse got a, another odd one that I've put into the collection although it's not truly part of the collection it's my Els Costello uh, can't stand up for falling down there is a two-tone version of this floating about they're exceptionally expensive I mean talking close to a hundred pounds um, I believe he was already signed for F beat but uh, at the gigs he uh, released the two-tone or the, his song on the two-tone label so there are Elvis Cotello can't stand up for falling down on two-tone but you will pay for them and sadly I've not yet found one not one I can afford anyway then moving on we have Too Much Too Young which is a special aka live and I have the original pretty good copy of the original cover we then go on to the selector and 3 minute hero and another original it's taken me a while to collect these ones and uh, I don't know you could go out and rampage through eBay and pay a fortune for a collection ready to go but uh, it's these are the ones I've been picking up as I've been going along a couple of originals I had from when I was quite a lot younger and uh, just picking them up as I went along but uh, every one I find I sort of catalogue and put away and look for the next one on the list we come to Let's Do Rock Steady by the Body Snatchers. Again, another one I have as an original. Um, this collection's uh, interesting enough. Um, I don't know if I can see this clearly enough. They are using the original catalogue numbers as well. So uh, CHS followed by TT9 for the uh, Body Snatchers and. TT8 for the selector, James Bond on that one, on the B side. We then go on to Stereotypes by the Specials. Um, I've got a couple of other ones which are in the catalogue of things sort of drop in before that, including uh, Missing Words by the selector Rat Race by the specials to experience the body snatchers and easy life my uh, great copy of the stereotype which will be uh, it's a punched out jukebox version so it'd be nice to have a, a new version of that and then we go on to Rico Sea Cruises again this one is uh, a slightly unusual one Rico uh, a trombone player played on quite a few other bits and pieces had his own career as well uh, this one's quite tricky to get hold of uh, as a, an original uh, it'll be fascinating to see if they release each of these singles as singles later down the line or whether they'll uh, keep them just for the collector's box set uh, and then we have I have a copy of Swinging Cats and Montavani who comes in the catalogue next for some reason I paid an awful lot of money for that one but uh, they seem to be harder to get the further up the catalogue numbers they came obviously fewer people were buying them and they were getting harder to get we have oh what we got here we uh, do nothing by the specials that comes in a nice picture sleeve 
the later but later ones did seem to come with more picture sleeves than uh, the standard two tone ones. Then we go on to the specials and Ghost Town and my original. And finally, in this collection, we have uh, Special AKA Nelson Mandela. We all know the song. But we've got a couple of other odds and ends. The Boiler, which had uh, Rona Decker. And the Special AKA. The Higsons, with uh, Tear the Whole Thing Down. War Crimes by the Special AKA My copy of uh, Nelson Mandela Original one And that is the last of the collection And to go with the last few bits I've got I've got a uh, couple of odd ones which are This one if it will focus is TT999 which uh, I believe came with a an album and I have this one which is 9th C8 Chrysalis CHS9007 which again was just for jukebox hence the the centre so that's a quick look at some of my uh, originals and the rather nice new shiny two-tone box set. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, until next time, play nice. <laughs>